Somalia has been in the grip of a civil war for almost 30 years now. Years of fighting has left much of the East African nation in ruins. A group of young Somalis are now working to restore the lost development of their country. More in our next report. Close to 30 years of civil war and devastation beyond imagination. This has been the state of the East African nation of Somalia. The capital city of Mogadishu has been the worst hit. With buildings reduced to rubble, it's a city of ruined glory. Crumbled towers and roofless old cathedrals are a common sight. Since 2017, the city has seen some respite. Thus, the National Theatre and the National Museum was reopened recently. But much remains to be done. And the young diaspora has taken matters into their own hands. Omar Degan was one of the many natives who returned to Somalia in 2017. His parents shifted to Italy just before the war broke out in 1991. He has studied architecture in Italy and Hong Kong and now he wants to rebuild his homeland. On a mission, he has founded his own company named DO Architecture. Dagan is concentrating on smaller projects for now. He has designed schools and public libraries. Another focus area of his has been on constructing public spaces. Public spaces, especially in a post-conflict post reconstruction context, it means a lot because it really helps the people to take ownership of the spaces that they have. So a public space, it reduces the inequality, it makes the people equal, the better if they are no matter the gender, age, and, and, uh, you know, and sex. So at the end of the day, um, having a public space will help the reconciliation and, uh, and the peace that the Somalia need and is looking for. Dagan says his idea is to maintain the cultural identity and give a touch of heritage while at the same time deliver a contemporary design. He often uses several symbols reflecting Somalian culture in his architecture. For me, cultural identity should be preserved as biodiversity. So for me, going back to the root of Somalia, learn about the tradition, culture of different regions, and then try to redesign spaces. According to that, will help the people to feel that they belong to the space and that the space is their own. With the efforts of many like Dagan, Mogadishu has seen a bit of a building boom. Multiple hotels, commercial buildings and modern style houses have come up. In a city defined by war for years, it heralds the break of a new dawn. Bureau report, we on World is One.